Hey everybody, it's Bjorn from WPLearningLab.com and in this video I'm going to show you how to create a Facebook developers account. Now you might need one of these if you want to do things like create games or apps that integrate with Facebook, if you want to add sharing and like buttons to your website manually without a plugin, if you want to have a login with Facebook option for your website or your app, that's what you're, what you're going to need a Facebook developers account in order to do. And they have all the tools there to help you make that happen. So the website you see right here is developers.facebook.com. This is where you're going to go to set up this account. It is tied to a regular Facebook account, so you will need to have one of those. If you don't have a regular Facebook account, you will have to make one. If you are concerned about privacy and you don't want your real information on Facebook, you can just create a free email address, use an assumed name, and not worry about your information being on Facebook. And you can use that fake free email address for all your Facebook development. So the first thing you have to do once you're here is click on the login link in the top right. And then if you have a Facebook account, you just log in here. If you don't, you click the sign up for Facebook link. Then you just enter your information. And like I said, the email address you enter there doesn't have to be your real email address. This doesn't have to be your real birth date. It doesn't have to be your real name. The email address will, however, have to be functional. So if they send you a confirmation message or for whatever reason they have to interact with you somehow, the email has to work. But all the other information, that can just be made up. So once you have it all filled out, you just click the sign up button. And this would normally take you through the steps required to create a regular Facebook account, but you don't have to do that. You can actually just go right back to developers.facebook.com and as you see in the top right, the login link is replaced with that thumbnail, the placeholder thumbnail that was just created for my new account. And now I have a Facebook developers account. And I can do those things I listed earlier, create a Facebook login for a website, create games or apps, integrate sharing and like buttons with your website, and stuff like that. I hope this video served you. Again, I'm Bjorn Allpass from WPLearningLab.com. Like it, share it, friend it, link it, pass it around, show it to all your friends, subscribe to our channel, and I'll see you in the next video.